Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about expected value or we call it as mean of the probability distribution. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about uh, what's discrete random variable and what's discrete probability distribution means. Uh, please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is uh, provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, first we will understand the definition of expected value. Suppose a discrete random variable x assumes the values. Means the x values, the random variable values are given as uh, x1, x2, so on up to xn and corresponding probabilities p1 for these values if the probabilities are p1 p2 so on up to pn then the expectation of x or expected value of x is denoted by e of x or mu value so expected value is given like this mu is equal to expected of x is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi pi means multiplication of this xi values and probability values this we call it as expected value and we are saying that this expected value is similar to our arithmetic mean which we calculated in our uh, first classes how it is equal to the arithmetic mean that is the point we have to understand why why it is equal so now coming to the in our first classes when we discussed about arithmetic mean given frequencies if the frequencies are provided this is the equation which we use to find the mean value summation of i is equal to 1 to n xi fi fi means frequency values divided by summation of all the uh, 1 to n frequency values this is the equation which we used but uh, here we are seeing a different equation but we are saying that both are equal how how those two are equal let's try to understand with an example suppose take a distribution like this discrete random uh, random distribution toss three coins uh, the same example which we used in our previous class that uh, the same example we are using toss three coins x is equal to number of heads x is equal to zero so the random variables are zero heads one head two head and three heads and the probability values are one by eight uh, Zero, 0 heads can be obtained in 1 by 8 ways. 1 head can be obtained by 3 by 8, 2, 3 by 8, 3, 1 by 8. These are the probability values. This is what we call it as discrete probability distribution. So for this, if you want to identify the expected of x, x means random variable. Expected of the random variable x is given as sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi pi. See, from the arithmetic equation, sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi fy in place of our equation xi pi means in place of fi we are placing probability values why probability value says the same thing whatever the what's the frequency of occurring of this event that is what probability value says so both are same frequency of occurring of this event zero frequency of occurring of this event one that is what it is uh, saying probability values that's why sigma xi pi in place of fi we are placing sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi pi but what about this uh, divided by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi means in place of here divided by sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi in place of uh, fi we are placing pi but this probability values is equal to 1 summation of all these probability values is equal to 1 that's why we are not placing it so now it matches this equation is matching to the our arithmetic mean calculation given frequency values so that's why expected value of x is the mean of the random variable we are finding the mean of the random variable given probability distribution to this example if you find the mean of that just multiplication of 0 multiplied by 1 by 8, 1 by 8 plus 1 multiplied by 3 by 8 plus 2 multiplied by 3 by 8 plus 3 multiplied by 1 by 8 if you if you solve this uh, value we will get 12 by 8 that is equal to 1.5 so our uh, expected value is 1.5 mean of this random variable is 1.5 so this is what expected value means hope you understand the concept in our next class we are going to do some practice example for better understanding of how we use that expected value in order to get that intuition in the next examples will help you if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.